Hey what is up guys welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up mouse steering for Assetto Corsa and R Factor but you can also use this tutorial for like other games that don't support mouse steering by default. Alright so let's get started we have this folder mouse steering right here and there's a few setups in this folder which we have to run to, in order to make the mouse steering working. Alright so we got these three programs which are FreePie, Mouse Lock and FeeJoy and we only need FreePie and FeeJoy for R Factor and we need all these three for Assetto Corsa. And this mouse lock pro program we need for Assetto Corsa is not actually free. You can download a free trial though, so you can use the program 20 times. Uh, but after that it will ask for a registration key. Uh, but you can buy it for only $5. So if you really want to get into mouse steering on Assetto Corsa, it's definitely worth buying that. Alright, so let's just start with the free pie and fee joy so we can... Uh, so we can get started on our factor. Alright, so we're going to install FeeJoy at first, which is basically a program that creates a further control on your computer. And we can create, we can control that further controller with FreePy, which we're going to install right now. You can create scripts in there, so you can basically make the, uh, the mouse, like your mouse, when you move it left and right, you can basically make that controller move the joystick left and right. So you can do all kind of things like that. So you can also like set, uh, for example, when you press the A button on your keyboard, you can make the the controller press button one, stuff like that. All right, and that and that's what we need for the mouse steering. Um, let's see, what else do we need? Um, we don't need anything right now for our factor. So we're just gonna configure VJoy, and I think it's already configured properly. Um, we have one device, device one. And we have all these boxes ticked, which is good. And then we have eight buttons, and then this is set properly as well. So we can just close it. It will just run in the background and not um, like affect any of your computer's performance or anything. So that's good. And then we have um, FreePy that we need to open now. Um, and this looks a little bit more complicated, but it's actually re actually really simple because we've already like made a script and stuff like that that you need to run. So it's basically just like three hidden buttons that you need to do, and then it will just work. All right, so we're just gonna open the script, and this script is just an example script, so you can see the the mouse steering working on both games. Um, Norcat Seven will have a video up though with battle mouse uh, settings for drifting on a Saddle Corsa and R Factor. So make sure you check out that video. Uh, I will post a link to it in the description of this video. All right, so we have the script right here, and we're just gonna go to script and run the script. And now it will basically control the virtual controller. So let's go to R Factor now. Start the game. It's probably gonna take a while. All right, there you go. That's the game. SP mod I've installed. Um, we're gonna go to customize and then settings. Controls. All right, I think I've already configured it, but as you can see, it's already working. But I'll show you how to like uh, assign the stuff to it. So I'm just gonna like. Let me see how can I just do this. All right, so now if, now it's just messed up. Load. Okay, now it's just messed up. Okay, that's good. So we can assign it again. Alright, so we're going to start off with the throttle, so you're just going to click this and then hit the mouse left. So as you can see, when I hit the mouse left button now, it will move up the throttle nice and slowly. It's pretty smooth, which is good. It's not like it's instantly up. And then we have the brake. We're just going to press that and then we're going to press the right mouse so it moves the brake, as you can see. Then we have the steering left and now we're just going to move left and as you can see that works too and now we're going to do the same thing with right there you go and then we have to shift up you can just set that to whatever you want um, but I think we've set the the free part we've set the, the the S and D buttons to shifting up and down so when we press I think S which is button 1 so that's up shifting and then down shifting is D so as you can see that actually works like a button now. And then we have the clutch, which is set to C, which actually moves like an axis as well, kind of, you know? It's, so it's pretty nice. It's not, not like it's like instantly up. It's like has some it just moves up a little slower than it would usually do when you hit a button. Alright, so that's done. 
and I think we can just go in a race now and I'll show you how the, how the steering works. Um, let me just go to testing, run this track because I don't have any tracks installed. Alright, let's go to race. And as you can see the throttle works really nicely. And then we have the shifting, which is set to S. That works too. And the steering, as you can see, works really nicely. And I'll show you how to set up the steering sensitivity and stuff like that in a minute as well. But I'm first off going to show you how to get this working on a set of course as well properly. But as you can see it's working really nicely on our factor already. And as you can see we have to... Oh, the, the, <laughs> the C button is as well set to the changing the camera. But when we hold that as you can see it acts like a clutch. And when I release it it goes throttle. Alright so yeah that's working. Um, I'm now going to move on to a set of Corsa. And after that I'm going to show you how to change some stuff to the settings. Alright, so now we can stop running the script for just now and we, we, we're going to need to install this mouse lock program. Which we do like this. And I will place links to all these programs in the description of the video so it's easy to, for you to download. Or, or I will just make a package with all of these in it and with the script so you can just yeah get all of them with it with one download. Um, I don't actually need those things. Alright. Launch mouse lock. Alright, there we have mouse lock. And what this program basically does, it basically makes your mouse lock to like a certain region of your screen. So when we run it right here, we have set the lock unlock hotkey to Ctrl M. When we press Ctrl M now, it will hide the program as you can see. And as you can see the mouse is now on the top of the screen. And it cannot, it's a bit laggy, but it doesn't really matter for the for the steering. But as you can see, it cannot go further than like that on the right side of the screen. And we made it like that because on a set of course, there's some app bar on the right side of the screen. So every time you go with the mouse to the right of the screen, it will just show that app screen and it will all click apps and stuff like that. It will all go through your screen. So we didn't want to have it like that. So we we use this program to avoid that. Um, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to press Ctrl M again. Um, we're going to start a saddle Corsa right here. Come on, load. Starting a saddle Corsa, pop leading, blah blah blah. Right, come on, there you go, that is. Alright, now we're going to assign the keys again. Um, might have already done that. No, I haven't. Alright, so i I done it, but it's all different now because I reinstall everything and stuff like that. Alright, so we're gonna set we're gonna start off with the throttle, otherwise it fucks up all the other ones. So you need to start off on the set of course you need to start off with the throttle. And that's the best thing to do on our fact as well. Just assign the throttle to Oh wait, I need to run the script. That's probably why it didn't work. Alright, run the script again. And now when we assign the throttle, as you can see it works now. And then we do the same thing for break. We have the clutch which is C there you go. Uh, handbrake we don't need to do, we can do that in the buttons. Then the steering, we can move that left and right and now it's working. And then we have the shifter, which is button 1 and 2, so we're going to have that to S. And then D, which are assigned to button 1 and 2. And I'll show you how to change that in a minute, if you, if you would like to use all the buttons. Alright, so that's done. Now we go to secondary. And we have the handbrake set to space bar, that's fine. Um yeah, I think I don't think we need to change anything to this. Um yeah, the, the you might want to change some steering settings in here as well. Um to make it feel better for you. Um but again Norkit will have a video up with his mouse settings which probably feel really good. So yeah, make sure you check that out. Um I'm just gonna test it now. See what works. Uh, Monster, that'll be fine. Loading the game. Alright, there we have our car. And as you can see, the mouse steering is working really nicely. But now that we don't have the mouse lock enabled, so as you can see, when we move the steering to the right, right there, it will come up with that app bar on the side and when you hit the throttle at the same time well you can just hit those apps so it will for example just hit that or 
or dad or dad or dad, you know, like stuff like that will just happen. So what we done is this mouse lock problem, we made it locked to like, like right about there so it doesn't come up with the screen. So we're going to press Ctrl M and now as you can see the mouse is actually locked to the top of the screen as well. So it doesn't really like bother you while drifting because it's really annoying when you have like a mouse moving like right through you, the middle of your screen. So we locked it to the top of the screen. And as you can see when we moved it to the right it doesn't hit that app button thing anymore. So let's just try and drive now. Um, let me see how this works. Press S to shift up. Alright let's go. See if I can do some drifting. Probably not. Oh, munching, yeah. Oh no, 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 no. All right, so yeah, yeah I'm not really good at this. <laughs> uh, I'm just here to show you how to make it work on the set, of course, uh, for the mouse drifting on, and on our factor as well, actually. Um, yeah, so let's just quit the game and I'll show you how to uh, assign all the buttons for the shift and stuff like that right now. So now you want to just stop the script again. And now we want to go into the get more into the script so we are gonna start off with the mouse settings right here and this is where you change the mouse sensitivity so when you make this lower it will make the steering go slower and if you may higher it up it will make the wheel go faster and the center reduction I'm not sure exactly what that does um, so you, you will just have to like mess around with that yourself if you if you want to and then we're gonna go down um, to the buttons <coughs> so this is where we want to assign like the buttons to like shift and stuff like that so this this button 0 to 7 is basically button 1 to 8 in the VJoy control so if we press button the S key on, on our keyboard when we run the script it will basically initiate button 1 on VJoy and when we hit button when we hit the D key on the keyboard it will hit button 2 on the VJoy controller so we've assigned it now so that, as you can see, um, controls and then shift off for example. We have the gear shift up to button 1, so that's right now set to uh, key S. So when we press key S it will hit button 1 which is shift up. But let's say if you wanted to change this, so if you want to change this to for example um, A, say something like that, and then we're just going to run it again. and now. When I press S, it won't do anything anymore. But now when I press A, it will it will sign that to button 1. So that's how you change all that. And there's something else right here for the clutch, which is set to C right now. But if you wanted to change that, you can need to change this to, for example, um, G. Um, but you have to go down here to clutch logic as well and change this to G as well. Otherwise, it won't uh, change. So let's just run it again, see if it works. Now with G. So now when we press C, the clutch won't go up anymore, as you can see. But now when we press G, uh, did I? Oh, there you go, yeah. So now when we press G, it works. So yeah, that's how you change the buttons basically, and it, it's pretty simple, really. And there's nothing really else that you want to change. It's basically just that steering those steering settings and and the buttons and you might want to change some in-game settings if you like to so yeah that's basically the video um, yeah if you have any questions you can just ask them in the comment section and Norkit 7 will have a video up again with with mouse settings for a set of course of drifting and our factor drifting so yeah make sure you check that out uh, thanks for watching and goodbye